Fairy Tale 9-11, a short film written by Tony Ali. Exterior lower Manhattan Street, 20 years ago. Distant screams and broken sirens ring out. Detritus rains down like confetti. Sidewalks, lamp posts, and vehicles smothered in dust. A folded note floats by, nestling in the lap of Jimmy, 30s, a businessman. He sits cross-legged on the sidewalk. He reads the note. You come and see me every day. Don't you think it's time you ask me on a date? A lipstick kiss and phone number inscribed on the note. It's signed Shelley. A firefighter calls out. Holy shit. Did that just happen? Did the trade center really fall? We got to keep moving. We, we got to find some shelter. Can you walk? Yeah, I, I need to make a call. Do you have a phone? I'd say all lines are probably down. If you can walk, we need to find shelter away from this debris and shit flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I, I can walk and find it. I'll keep heading north. I just need a second to catch my breath. Oh, okay, just make sure you keep moving. Oh my God, did it actually fall? The fireman disappears across the street past a phone box. Interior, lower Manhattan, phone box. Lifting the receiver, Jimmy fumbles for a few quarters and slots one into the payphone. He dials the number from the note. It rings. No answer. He replaces the receiver. The phone rings. He picks up. It's Shelley, 30s. Hello. Is that Shelley? Who is this? My, my name is Jimmy. Listen, where are you? Jimmy, I can't breathe. It hurts to breathe. How far away were you when, when it collapsed, Shelley? One block, two blocks? I don't know. Can you see the other tower from where you are? Yeah. Then I'm coming back to find you. Can you see the sky? Jimmy won't be able to find me. I'm in the other tower, 99th floor. 99? Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I can't believe you found the note. Well, the note kind of found me. <laughs> so, seeing as I'm probably going to die today, how about it then? Don't think like that. Tell me who the note is for. Who's the lucky guy, Shelley? Why don't you just ask me? You want me to ask you on a date? Jimmy, all I ever wanted to do was to fall in love. Please ask me on a date. Shelly, do you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> when can you pick me up? Maybe I should tell you something about myself. I already know something about you. I, I know how you like your eggs. Like my eggs that way too. Shelly? Line goes dead. A passerby yells out. Oh my god! Now the other tower! Run! Interior, North Tower, WTC Diner, earlier that morning. Jimmy sits at a table reading a newspaper. Shelly approaches him, sighing with anticipation, percolator in hand. Hey, you. Hi. Not just the silent girl who fixed the X this morning then, huh? Yeah, they let me out front today, which is nice because flipping eggs is a lonely business, let me tell you. Well, for what it's worth, you do make some fine eggs. Oh, come on. That isn't all that I do. I mean, well, I, I clean tables, I, I wash dishes, and now look at me. I'm a real Jane of all trades. How long have you been working here? Like three weeks now? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I, actually, it's more like two or three months, but um, yeah, you have an ex today, Jimmy? How do you know my name? Of, of course I know your name. I mean, well, I, I, I saw your name tag once. Uh, you normally wear a name tag, right? I don't wear a name tag. And neither do you, and that's why I don't know your name. And yes, I'll have eggs this morning, please. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Uh, so ring, ring. Oh, 
Uh, that's me. One moment. Uh, Jimmy McCluskey speaking. Angelica, good morning. Uh, just a sec. Sorry, this is a client of mine. Uh, three eggs for me, please. Yeah, sunny side up, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm stuck in my office all day today, but... Okay, uh, I guess I can put my schedule back. Uh, meet me in that uh, little diner on the corner of Liberty Street in half an hour, and uh, we can discuss your proposal. Okay, see you there. Interior Tower, WTC Diner. Later that morning, Shelley slouches defeated at a table, picking at leftovers. Anna, 50s, agony aunt type, sits opposite her reading a magazine. She becomes irritated by Shelley's demeanor. I think you should just confess your undying love for him. Just come right out and say it. Oh. I would, but there's a reason he works all the way up on the gazillion floor while I flip I eggs and clean tables here on the first floor. Well, I hear you. You are separated by uh, a gazillion floor while uh, you're separated by a gazillion floor, but that's beautiful. That's poetic. You're like his Capulet and he's your Montague. <laughs> Yeah, and we, uh, we all know how that story ends. Anyway, isn't it the other way around? How am I supposed to remember which it is? I never got all the fuss over that Willie Shakespeare anyways. <laughs> Anyhow, it's more like he's Prince Charming and I'm one of the ugly sisters. Nonsense, sugar. He's a Prince Charming, but you are Cinderella. <laughs> well, then all I need is a pair of glass slippers and a pumpkin and a poof. <laughs> what can you rustle up for me, Anna? Listen to me, girl. You're staring at your fairy godmother herself. I could shine you your work boots up a little and push you along in a trolley if you like. <laughs> Would you look at me, Anna? I'm a sad, lonely 30-something. Not once ever in her life been asked out on a date. <laughs> My pathetic story is the opposite of a fairy tale. I mean, come on. I've been obsessing over a guy for three months and he doesn't know my name. Seems like the perfect setup to me, sweetie. <laughs> you know what I say? I say you go all the way up to the gazillion floor right now and show him how you feel. Right now? No. Mm -hmm. No, no, I can't. I'm too embarrassed. If not, then. When, honey? What would I say? I, I, I got it. You've got to take him up his ex. It's the only way to a man's heart, little lady. Anna, they're in the trash. Oh, no, not the eggs you knocked up before. Make him fresh, cook perfectly. A pinch of seasoning. Put your butt in your hand. Oh, God, you're not going to let me say no, are you? It's written in the stars. <sighs> Everybody deserves to fall in love at least once before they die. Today is your turn, sugar. Racing to a flat top stove in the kitchen, Anna cracks two eggs onto it. How did it go? Put them together and what do you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Hey, why is, why is nothing happening? Because it's switched off, Anna. I'll make the eggs. You grab me a large glass of something I shouldn't be drinking this time of the day from the bar. Oh, no need, honey. She pulls a hip flask from oh. her apron. Why doesn't that surprise me? Interior, North Tower, office. Shelley enters the office. Hey, can I help you? Oh, hey, I, I have Jimmy's... Uh, Mr. McClowski asked me to bring his breakfast up to his office today. Oh, how wonderful. It's just through the other door. You can uh, go on through. Oh, thanks. He's, oh, uh, he's actually out on a meeting at the moment. Oh, oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll just leave it on his desk then, I guess. Oh, you can wait inside if you like. No, I, I probably shouldn't. Do you think I should wait? I don't think it'll be too much longer. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Wait, you're the girl who works in the diner, right? <laughs> I hear you make some fabulous eggs. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't know. Try, I, I try. Thanks. I saw he ever talks about every morning. Them perfect eggs. He's always talking about you too. Hmm. Uh, I know why now. I'm David, Junior Canton. Shelley. Pleasure to meet you, Shelley. Jimmy's office, continuous. A large, modestly furnished office. A grand window displays the city below. Shelley places the tray down, taking it in the view. I can't believe he tells people about me. She applies lipstick, grabbing a sheet of paper from the desk. She jots something onto it, signing it with a kiss. Oh God, is that too much? Folding it, she places the note on the tray next to the eggs, replacing the lid. Now, oh, would you look at that view? She notices an airliner far off in the distance. Hannah was right. It is my turn to fall in love. You damn well better like my eggs. Fade to black. Oh my God. Now the other tower. Run! Exterior, Lower Manhattan Street. Jimmy leaves the phone box, confronted by a cloud of dust and debris approaching him, enveloping everything, strolling unafraid towards it. I fell in love with you the day I laid eyes on you. You're the first woman that I've ever fallen for. You have a beautiful name, Shelley. Why didn't you tell me before? The cloud envelops him. Fade out.